If push came to shovel, could you tell which skeleton is male and which is female? Well, here's making you a forensic anthropologist in just over 60 seconds. We always think first about the pelvis, but there are other giveaways to start with. The male skeleton, due to testosterone, has wider muscle insertions, making it thicker and more pronounced. The jaw itself is also less pointed and more wide, and so is the bone at the back of the head. As the famous osteopathologist Shakira once said though, your hips don't lie. Oh, my hips don't lie. As they do carry the most striking differences. The gap inside the pelvis is the first thing you'll notice. As for a male, you can barely get an arm in there, never mind a not so tiny human. The female pelvis gap is more generously sized, yes, but also wider and not heart shaped like the males. Also, when looking at the whole structure, the female pelvis is more shaped like a basin rather than the funnel shape of the male. So, do you know which of these is male now? Put your answers with Y down below.